right there. Yes, my name is Kupia Sussman, of course, I'm your fab lady realtor for Niger Realty 24. And welcome to this uh, YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching this video. All right, so a lot of times we have realized that so many investors do not even understand the real estate investment journey, okay? They don't understand it. And because of this, they get themselves very, very much confused about the journey. Now, I quickly state this. Real estate investment is a journey and mostly it is profitable on a long term run. Okay, if you want to do real estate investment on a short term um, goal, you will not achieve so much like you're going to achieve if you have the mindset of a long term um, journey. Okay, and that's why I call it journey. You have to go into real estate investment on a long term basis. Stop going into real estate investment on a short haul, okay? You really do not work if you're into it for just basically short term. It usually works more when you have a mindset going into it for a long haul. All right, so I haven't stated that. Let me also further explain that. A lot of times also, because investors go into real estate investment on the short haul, short-term basis they they get frustrated in the process because you can't go into something for a long a lo that's supposed to be for a long time on a short time basis i don't get frustrated because you're not going to get the result that you want so they came and they come and say um i didn't get the result it's not working and all of that it's just basically because you had the mindset for a short time so you're looking for high return huge return on that investment that is meant to be for a long term on a short haul don't get me wrong you can make real estate investment of course on a short term but you have to also um, be very careful understand how it works for that short term goal that you have but basically for a serial investor or a real estate investor is usually better when you go with the mindset of a long term now today I will open your eyes to some things you don't even know consigning real estate investment and you know remember that for me it's all about bringing you those details that would help you make pre-informed decision on your real estate investment all right so now when people buy into real estate when they buy so i'll take an example i won't do houses right now i'm going to talk about a land so when you buy into a land and um you expect that at a particular time the estate should have developed to maybe you have a short term you're saying okay so i buy into this investment now this estate um, like an estate here now, you don't see the estate, it's just going to be pure land, right? Okay, so let me go around and show you this other side of where I am. Now, you buy into a land, maybe they tell you to buy into Beachfront, Queen's Garden, Meridian Boulevard, you know, all of these estates flying around the internet. And you get to buy a plot of land there. If you buy a plot of land there and um, you now ask the person, you ask the realtor who sold to you, okay, so what's the timeline for the project to be developed? Some tell you it's for investment, so it's a long or five years, but some don't even tell you. So maybe your expectation is for two years, and in two years, nothing is happening in that estate. Now, the problem with you or with that investment, there's no problem with that investment. The truth is, you went into it with a mindset of a short haul. Now, let me give you an exa a typical example of what I mean, just so I can put my poor thoughts out there rightly, so that you can fully understand what I'm saying. See this estate where I am? is located in Lekki, I mean, Aja. Okay, so I live in this estate practically, okay? So this is where I live, and I've moved from one house to the other. Quick one, let me show you where I've moved before now. I'm taking the reverse, I'll show you where I moved before now. So before now, I used to stay by the gate now, though. But before now, I used to stay... Okay, so one place I was going to get to go, so that I can get back to it. Oh, it's talking here, okay, that's fine. So before now, I used to live in that house right there. That block of flats right there, that's where I used to be. Some couple of years ago, <laughs> I used to live in that block, okay? I used to live there, right there. And when I moved into this estate, so guess what? You see all of this? Okay, so I just wait to see, figure out what um, this vehicle is doing so that I don't, I don't get the noise. Okay, that's fine. I mean, the estate anyway, there's where very close come. All right, so what I was saying is, when I moved into this particular estate that you're looking so, it's looking so fine and glammed up and port and secured, it wasn't like this. See, back then, first thing, there was no interlock. You see, all of this interlocking that you see all the way down was not here. Okay, in fact, this pole 
It used to be those very tiny um, looking poles, not the con not this concrete one, the wooden poles. That was what it used to be here. So when we moved in here, it wasn't even an estate. It's not as beautiful as this. When it rains, guess what? We don't even have an interlocked road. So what we do is, a lot of times if you're not driving, you get to dip your legs here, right here. I remember here, you have to dig, you're struggling. This was not built then. This was just a mere bush, okay? This was nothing, nothing, nothing. It was just a very thick, almost like a forest. So, water will be always get into that plot of land, and because it's an empty plot of land, and then you have to dip your leg into water, sometimes so much dirty water, so you always want to drive or take it out. That's during rainy season, right? Now, let me give you another gist about the, the, the dry season. The dry season is sharp sand because in because of the proximity in, on the island. So we have a lot of sharp sand around here. Like I said, this asset is inside Aja, right? Now, there's a lot of sharp sand. And I remember I used to use one um, Corolla then, and it's always difficult to get to my house. So what I do is I park on the street further down and walk down home. Why? Because a lot of times that sand is so much that I will get stuck in the sand and I kind of don't want to do the stress of being, um, pushing the car all the time i've done that a couple of times but most of the time when i'm coming back from work i'm tired so i don't want to go through that experience i don't want to do it so what i do is just pack out there and that's it but right now in less than five years in less than four years can you see the transformation i started right from that okay so you can see the beauty of the estate so now let me do a 360 spin i'll be you're going to spin with me so let's go around now show a wider view can go back I'll show you why that. So let's spin again. Let's spin around. Okay, let's go back. Go around. Okay, so why am I spinning? So let's go back now. I'm sure you've seen the beauty of how it looks right now. So what am I getting out with this short story I told you? This journey of this estate was just in less than three years. Like I said, it was less than three years. And you can see the beauty is now a closed estate. A very, in fact, so. It's also the most private estate in Thomas Estate in Aja, okay? Compared to every other place in, in Thomas Estate. So it's very private and it's the most sorted after estate. But why? Because of the infrastructures. Exactly. That's because of what is in place right now. That's why everybody wants to live in this particular estate. So what am I going with this? You buy into an estate and you're so worried. You're getting yourself worked up in two years. You're waiting for developments to be up and running in two years. Hello, these things do not happen overnight. It's not gonna happen overnight. Like I told you, I've stayed here for five years, right? And it didn't happen all overnight. All of this that you see didn't happen all overnight. So hey, as an investor, number one, be into start your journey on a long haul, not a short haul. Then stop expecting magic to happen. You want the long roads to be tall. You want the drainage you have been doing. No, no, no. People just expect your expectations are too high. Okay? Then give yourself time. Give your investment time. It doesn't happen overnight. Just patience, okay? <laughs> patience, like chillax, okay? Chillax, chillax. You need to relax. You need to learn that some of these things will take a while before that perfect picture that was created by that developer can come to play. Exactly. So stop waiting for magic. Stop waiting for miracles to be performed. These things will come to play. So you are brought into a particular estate and nothing is happening there. Calm down. Chill. Alright, so let me give you another example. In Raya Gardens, opposite here, here in Naja, is one of the most expensive estates to live in Naja, okay? You're going to get a plot of land measuring 450 square meter for, so to speak, 65 million naira or thereabouts. I get that's even the cheapest, right? And trust me, that estate for five years, a lot of people invested in it for five million naira then, and nothing happened in five years. Well, if you go there now, it's meant for the big boys. If you're not a big boy, you can't live in Royal Gardens. If you're not a big girl, you can't leave there. That's what happened with real estate. So real estate takes time. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so you need to be patient with your investment. All right, stop wasting for, because you bought a particular land, and nothing is happening in two years. You're already fuming up. You're already fussy about it. You're already angry. You know, you're... <laughs> hey, stop it. I remember something just because I got here. I remember this particular place. It used to be a very funny dish, right? 
I remember towing so much vehicles from this place, this point. There's a lot of sand in this I used I used to use my vehicle like, to tow a lot of you know other fellow people living here. I told their vehicle out of that sand. Yeah, in fact, they, it's not just sand, but it's all this construction of this house. But it used to be a very when I moved in here, like I said, it wasn't an estate. But this house used to be one house that uh, one place, one empty land where we used to go and all those things. But now look at it; it's all built up. People are moving in there. Okay, if you don't call, you can't get here. So if you're in my neighborhood and you go say. Hey, I'm in your neighborhood. I want to check on you. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> you got no pass. You're not entering. You know that kind of a thing. All right. So that's just by the way. So what am I saying, guys? As a real estate investor, you have to be patient with your investment. Go into your investment with a long-term, you know, mindset. Stop waiting for magic to be performed. Stop telling your realtor, hey, we bought that land now, three years, nothing is happening. Hello, something will happen. Okay, just be patient, okay? You remember this saying that says that the patient dog, it has, it's the fact that it's born, right? That's the case of real estate. Real estate takes time. So that's my message right now. Real estate investment does take time. It does not take, it's not the magic. There's no caricature to these things, okay? Okay, maybe there's a caricature and good to it. So maybe you're buying this house, renovating the house, and you're reselling it. But hello, it's not gonna happen like in one month, right? So it has to take time as well. So what I mean is, when you're buying a plot of land in a proposed estate, you need to give it time to breathe, okay? Stop being anxious. Oh, when is drainage gonna be done? Oh, when? Hello, they're going to do it, but just give it time. You know why? If you give it time, if you have this mindset, you have peace of mind. It comes with peace of mind, okay? So you don't get yourself worked up unnecessarily and you don't also because you've bought into a particular land in a prosperous and um, postponed estate and it's not working because of that you now say um i'm not going to i'm not going to invest anymore because the one we bought nothing is happening there hello like seriously you are doing yourself more danger than than good okay you're not doing yourself good by saying that or doing that so that is the essence of this video remember you need to give yourself time give your investment time if you're coming into the real estate investment um as a sh on a short term then you need to talk to your realtor and say hey goodness i'm on this for a short term what can i invest for a short term that's a different conversation but hey if you want to be an investor in real estate you should be in need for a long haul long-term investment is better long-term investment journey is way way better in fact that's when you will maximize your profit. It will give you high return on your investment based on a long haul. Okay, some of these magics don't happen all the time. So go relax. I don't know who you are watching me right now. Maybe you're bought into it an estate three years ago, four years ago, and you're so getting worked up, you're agitated because nothing is happening there. Well, depending on the location though, but hey, I'm saying this to you. Give it time. That's why I decided to use this my own estate as a practical example. Hey, come on. This wasn't even supposed to be an estate. It was just a close. Yes, when I moved in here, it was a close. It was not supposed to be an estate. So how much more you bought into an estate, which is, well, you bought a land where is already a proposed estate. This was not a proposed estate, but hey, look at it now. It's the most sorted out estate in Aja. However, you have already bought into a proposed estate. So trust me, when you give it time and trust the journey, trust the process, you will reap high return on your investment so finally guys on the wrap i just want to say calm down oh chillax okay calm down your investment will give you high return i don't know where you bought it off of, but i'm very sure that when you buy into some of these lines some of these proposed estates in different locations you need to give it a time okay before you know it it will be all looking nice bland and secure thank you so much for watching this video i hope you've been able to learn one or two things from this video all right so if i've been able to correct your mindset put it in the comment section let me know but if you have a contrary opinion to what i'm saying or question that you need more clarification how about you put it in the comment section or contact me and i promise you i'm going to answer all of your questions to the best of my ability don't forget that my name is goodness Usman. of course i am your fab lady realtor for niger realty 24 if this is my very first time for watching this video, do me a favor, please subscribe, like, and of course, comment. I'm going to see you in the next video. Don't forget that my name is Goodness Smile. Of course, I am your, yes, you, 
your fab lady Rota for Nigeria Realty 24. So I'll wrap up now on this video with my credit and I'll see you in the next video. So I say, oh, double.